Be prepared. Be the first to know. One hundred and eighty were challenged by Travis to die By the line that he drew with his gun when the battle was nigh Any man that would fight to the death cross over But him that would live better fly And over the line went a hundred and seventy-nine Hey, Santa Ana, we're killing your soldiers below. That men, wherever they go, will remember the Alamo. Johnny Cash was presented by President George W. Bush in a ceremony at Constitutional Hall in April with the National Medal of the Arts. He's won every major award there is to win in music. He is an American institution. When did you know you wanted to sing? I knew I wanted to sing when I was a very small boy. When I was probably four years old, my mother played a guitar, and I would uh, I would sit with her, and uh, she would sing, and I learned to sing along with her. How would you describe your voice, since there's no voice like it? Hmm. I don't know, Larry. I mean, it's not... You don't hear yourself anywhere, right? I mean, there's no one... Are you a bass? I don't hear... No, I don't, I'm not a bass. I don't hear me like, like anybody else does. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't hear, I don't hear a good, strong voice. I, I guess I remember too much of the pneumonia. I don't know. I just... Uh, but my voice... I have to really work on my voice, on the vocals, on my records to get it right. I just... Uh, I run out of air. I run out of breath. And uh, I run off pitch. I... Uh, um, so you have to go over it a lot? Yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit. Maybe no more than the average person, but to me a lot, you know, who never had to do it a lot. Do you still enjoy singing? I love it. I love it. What I is love, it? I love to go to the studio and stand there 10 or 12 hours a day. I love it. What is it? Yeah, I, I don't mean, know. It's life. It's, I mean, it must be with, with, with pneumonia. It's painful. It can hurt, right? You yeah, but what arm. it did, but I don't have pneumonia now. So... Uh, um, it's, it doesn't hurt now to work that long. Do you miss audiences? I miss the audiences. I miss the audiences, but I see enough of people. And you know where I see a lot of people? June and I go shopping a lot. And malls? And malls, in malls. We love to go to malls. And some of the stores, <laughs> the big ones, have these um, little electric cars, little electric uh, wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. You riding them? Mm hmm. I'm, I'm dangerous on those things. <laughs> yeah. We'll go to these stores and I'll jump right in one and follow June all day long in it. I left the shop. <laughs> Where's home? Nashville? Near, near Nashville. Hendersonville. Don't, don't people stop you all the time? Yeah, that's all right. You don't mind it? No, I don't mind. Why the black? Why do you always and only wear black? I wear the black for the poor and the beaten down. Living in the hopeless, hungry side of town I wear it for the prisoner Who has long paid for his crime But is there because he's a victim of the time I, You know, I wrote a song about why I wear black But maybe that's not quite it I wear black because I'm comfortable in it But then in the summertime when it's hot I'm comfortable in light blue I don't but think he, I've ever seen you in light blue. Mm, you have. ever record and you ever do a concert in light blue? No, no. <laughs> Never done a concert in anything but black. Are you a clothes you, freak? You walk into my clothes closet, it's dark in there. <laughs> dark. <laughs> How many records have you sold? I don't know. Don't know. Biggest hit. I walked the line. I walked Tell the line. The it was it was a song. hit three times. I keep it, my eyes wide open I, all the time. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the tie that binds. Because you're mine. I, I walk, walk the, the line. line. Of that song. 
I walked the line. I went to see. Let me see. Where did the idea come from? Oh, I had a I had a, a little recorder. I had a Wilcox Gay recorder, a, a tape recorder mm -hmm. in the Air Force in 1952. And I was on the guitar, I was going Well, it got turned around. The tape got in there backwards. And when I played it, it went It had a kind of a drone sound like I finally had on the record. But I couldn't figure out where that sound came back, came from when I played it. But I took that sound when I got home, when I was home from the Air Force, I was on the road, and that sound was haunting me again. And uh, But then the, the line, I, because you're mine, I walked the line. It kept coming to me, you know. But I was, I was to you. young and not been married too long. Yeah, it kept coming to me, because you're mine. I walked the line. And then the words just naturally flowed. It was an easy song to write. How about a boy named Sue? Well, that was Shel Silverstein's song. That's a funny song. Well, the very left home when I was three didn't leave very much for my mom and me. Just this old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Now, I don't blame him because he run and hid, but the meanest thing that my daddy ever did was before he left, he went and named me Sue. <laughs> that song cracked up everybody whenever you sing it, right? Right, yeah. Did you like it right away? Right away, immediately. Anyone else ever recorded? Nobody that I know <laughs> of. Nobody that I know of. There's this thing about that song, I recorded that live at San Quentin in 1969. Remember the album? The night before I left home in Hendersonville to go to California to do that concert, to make that record, we had a, we had a party at our house. June threw a party for the cast of our TV show. And at the party was, and singing these songs, all their songs for the first time was, was uh, Bob Dylan sang Lay Lady Lay that night. Chris Christopherson sang Me and Bobby McGee. Shel Silverstein sang uh, Boy Named Sue. Uh, uh, Graham Nash sang Mary Case Express. Uh, uh, all in this, all of this party. Johnny Mitchell sang Both Sides Now. All these songs were sung the first time at that party at my house Jeez. that night. We were, we were leaving the next day to go to California. And June said, take the words to a boy named Sue to California. You'll want to record that at San Quentin. I said, I don't have time to learn that song before the show. And she said, we'll take them anyway. So I did. I took the words to a boy named Sue. 